So the purpose of the wheel and axle is to move the car in a distance and reduce friction. How it works is the wheel and axle helps the car getting the car to actually move. The wheel and the axle also help the car go faster. Um, what's, okay, what is the purpose of it? The purpose of the lever is to hold the string and the axle to help the car move. The lever is attached to the mouse trap right here by hot glue and tape. When you wind the lever back, you wrap it around the axle, like you, round, you wrap it up and the car moves. <laughs> Okay, so the first law states an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This applies to the wheel and axle because um, there is friction acting on as an unbalanced force um, causing the car to stop like that. All right, and Newton's, se Newton's second law is the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force applied and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Um, the, pro the part of the project that's a good example is uh, the wheel and axle again, because uh, if your wheels are huge, there's lots of hot, and there's lots of hot glue, the car won't go as far. But if the wheels are smaller and the hot glue is less, the car will go further. So we put a ton of hot glue right here, so it might not go as far. And our wheels are pretty big, but that's fine. And then um, Newton's third law is for every action force, there's an equal and opposite reaction force. The lever is a good example of the third law because um, when you wind the lever back, um, uh, as the action force, the car starts to move and the lever slowly goes down like that. Some helpful forces um, are friction. Friction is a helpful force because it helps our car stop. And if it does, and if we didn't have friction, the car would be moving without stopping. Friction also helps us slide around when we walk. Another helpful um, force is gravity. Gravity helps the glue stick to the wheel and keep our car to the ground. Gravity is also helpful because we don't have if we don't have gravity, we wouldn't stay on the ground. Some problem forces though are air resistance. Air resistance slows the car down while the car is moving to go less. And tension. Tension of the string of being pulled and it might get stuck too tight. Go. Please go, please go, please go. Go, oh, you can go as far.